Hello everyone, welcome to The Wealthiest where you will learn the ins and outs about the world's elite, how they live and how they spend their accumulated wealth. Let's get started. Are you prepared to learn a shocking secret that will make you wonder about the very foundations of America? As we explore the astounding revelation of a billionaire investor who secretly owns huge portions of America's real estate industry, be ready to be shocked. Today, we're about to unveil an astonishing truth that will make you rethink the American dream. Picture this, a single man, operating in the shadows, silently amassing control over a significant portion of America's real estate market. Intrigued? Then let's dive right in. But before we reveal the enigmatic figure behind this captivating tale, let's pause for a moment and reflect. Have you ever wondered who holds the keys to the most valuable real estate in America? Could it be an influential tycoon, a mysterious billionaire, or perhaps even an elusive mastermind? Brace yourselves as we unveil the shocking truth. It is a billionaire real estate magnate. Drumroll, please. The secret owner of a staggering amount of America's real estate is none other than Sam Zell. Yes, you heard it right, Sam Zell, an ordinary name concealing an extraordinary reality. But who is this mysterious man, and how did he amass such colossal wealth without attracting attention? What characteristics does Sam Zell have that have helped him get to the top of the real estate sector? Is it his smart business sense, unshakable determination, or possibly his exceptional capacity to spot undiscovered opportunities in the market? How did Sam Zell, who was mostly unknown to the general public, manage to gain such enormous fortune and power? Did he make covert alliances, use devious strategies, or just make deliberate actions while avoiding detection? To find answers to all those questions, you need to watch this video till the end. Sam Zell, known as the Grave Dancer, was the king of real estate who tragically passed away recently on May 18th of 2023 from complications from an illness. He was 81 years old. He was born Shimil Zilanka. He checked off every requirement for becoming one of the most well-known figures in the American real estate industry. He was the chairman of Equity Group Investments, a private investment company with over 50 years of experience and a multi-billion dollar portfolio spread across private and public enterprises in key industries like transportation, healthcare, and real estate. Here are three trusts that were created and when added together is a giant powerhouse in the real estate realm. The first is the Equity Commonwealth Trust. Compared to its rivals, this office block trust controls over 800 properties and is valued at $2.69 billion. As it continues to work with prestigious customers throughout the world and buy new properties, it is rolling in cash and edging out the competition. If you think this is amazing, wait until you hear number two. Equity Lifestyle Properties, which own 445 buildings and 170,157 sites across 35 states and British Columbia, considered the largest residential and commercial property operators because they have a controlling interest in 400 communities both inside and outside of the United States. Equity Lifestyle Properties was another cash cow for billionaire Sam Zell. This company is a top operator of campgrounds, manufactured homes, and RV resorts in some of America's most serene environments. They have some of the most beautiful family apartments you'll ever come across, and this company is worth over $29.53 billion. Finally, Equity Residential is one of Sam Zell's decades-old trusts worth billions of dollars today. In New York and Southern California, Boston, Seattle, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, and Denver, they own and oversee approximately 78,000 apartments. The company employs over 2,600 people and has an estimated net worth of $23.832 billion. As I previously stated, Equity Group Investments has subsidiaries in other industries that generate millions of dollars annually. However, these three are the Grave Dancer's first investments that made him so wealthy in his early days. Equity Residential is the third and most powerful of Sam Zell's heavyweight real estate trusts. This corporation manages and acquires residential flats for rent. Because of their high-quality apartments and great interior design, the company was the first to be listed on the SP500. According to reliable sources, Sam Zell is a force to be reckoned with. Sam's current net worth today is a mere $5.6 billion. Let me show you a little bit of the Grave Dancer's fascinating past, and the beginning is rather amazing becoming rich. Sam Zell was a fortunate child. His parents, Bernard and Rochelle Zell, formerly Rutschla and 
Beric Zielonka were Jewish immigrants who fled Poland due to unfavorable government laws and an impending Nazi attack while on board a train. His father heard the latest development of things that would put the country of Poland in great distress. He wasted no time in returning to get his family out of the country. Sam's mother was pregnant at the time, and he was born in Chicago, where his parents eventually settled along with his older sister Lee. His father started a luxury jewelry business, which did quite well in sustaining the family's needs during Zell's high school days. He was a struggling student compared to his siblings. He wasn't doing well in class, but he had impressive entrepreneurial skills, which he began expressing in his neighborhood when he discovered the kids in the neighborhood were eager to buy Playboy magazines from him. Sam ultimately entered college. He approached a landlord who was building a student apartment at the time and offered him a management deal, which he accepted. Sam began to make thousands of dollars from his new job, and by the end of college he was already netting over $150,000. He studied law at the University of Michigan Law School, where he also got management deals to manage several student apartments alongside his friend Lori. Zell was a millionaire by the end of his law degree, so he sold his interest to Lori and relocated to Chicago. Moving to Chicago was the beginning of Zell's breakthrough in his real estate career, as he and other partners formed the Equity Group Investments, which later became the foundation for his other trusts such as Equity Residential. They purchased properties during the severe economic decline. People would have thought Sam Zell was crazy at the time, but little did they know that Sam Zell eventually built Equity Residential and Equity Office Properties Trust, both of which were offshootsy. In 2007, Sam Zell sold Equity Office Properties to Blackstone for $36 billion. You would be very surprised if you were unaware of how this successful businessman would sell the organization he had worked so hard to develop, and I can assure you that he did not feel too good about it either. The media company went into a calculated debt of $13 billion as a result of Zell's participation in the Tribune sale deal that same year. He also experienced issues with his employees, who sued him and the management board in court for making business business decisions that did not favor the workers. Zell eventually resigned as the chairman of the Tribune and continued to expand and grow his already established business. Sam, who amassed a net worth of over $5 billion, was already independently wealthy before he bought the Tribune. In addition to his $10.5 million mansion in Chicago, he also owned other mansions in places like Malibu, where his lavish 12,000-square-foot property sits close to the ocean. The estate valued at $13 million includes a pool, a gym, four bedrooms, and a guest house. Other places where he owned property included Sun Valley and Idaho, and each of these units is worth at least $25 million. He was one of Wall Street's most well-known figures. Aside from his real estate, he owned 13 motorcycles and three planes, two of which are bombardiers, each of which can cost up to $50 million. He owned a number of vehicles, but his wife primarily uses them. He preferred to ride his motorbike. What a story that I must believe most never knew. Be sure to comment in the comment section below your thoughts. Thank you for joining us on this eye-opening exploration of Sam Zell's extraordinary real estate empire. We hope this journey has sparked your curiosity and shed light on the hidden forces that shape the real estate landscape. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might find it intriguing. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories and thought-provoking investigations into the hidden corners of our world. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, no dream is too big.